Hiya, we're here. <laughs> we're here to have a bit of a chat about the uh, the pleasures and um, things that are not so pleasant about being a musician for uh, a Morris side. <laughs> um, I think first of all we ought to introduce ourselves. I'm, I'm Margaret. You can't see me. I'm just the voice. Um, I play the guitar in the background. And um, if you'd yeah. like to introduce yourselves. Yeah, I'm Catherine, and I'm um, one of the members of the. I'm um, Catherine, one of the members of the band, and I've been involved in the band. Um, the whole of the time that Morris has been in existence, while Morris has been in existence. You're a founder member though, aren't you? Not just one of the members. <laughs> Catherine's totally dependable, <laughs> and I'm not, and I'm Sue. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been involved for what, maybe four years, perhaps? Oh, more than that, definitely. Oh, do you think? That, say at least six. <laughs> yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. Well, Morris has been on the go for 11 years. This is our 11th year, so I would say. Yes, of course. Of course, because yeah. we've got an anniversary, haven't we? Yeah, we have. This year. Yes, we have, yes. Yeah. But good. So I, was, I, th I wondered whether we could just sort of talk about um, one of the things um, that came to mind was to talk about tunes that we like particularly, or I think we all have tunes that we like and tunes that we like less. Um, I just wondered if you had any favourites or ones that you particularly dislike or ones you find difficult playing. <laughs> I think it's the ones that go on and on and on sometimes, isn't it? And and the dancers, you know, it's it's hard to keep it, it's hard to keep it interesting when unless you walk really carefully and you know what they're doing. If we lose track, it's hard to actually you know you think ah, it's got to have ended and it hasn't. <laughs> you just keep going yeah. like what the Webberly is it yes, Webberly Webberly does jig. That? Yeah. I always find Journeyman mm. a bit like yes. that. I always think it. Surely you must have finished now. Yes. <laughs> then it goes on again. Yes. <laughs> Some of the ones that I like the least are the ones where you're not quite sure whether you've got to play an introduction or not. Mm -hmm. And everybody's standing there ready to perform and you're not really <laughs> quite sure whether you played an introduction and, and it's a bit sort of nerve wracking because mm -hmm. you don't want to get it wrong in that situation. It's all right in the practice. And, um, yeah, you put right on the spot as a musician because we start, don't we? We have to start. Yeah, exactly. And if we set the speed and it's wrong, there's sort of frantic hand movements. <laughs> yeah, <it's so> <laughs> or just speed up, everybody's dying. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you that about the tempo, how, how you um, how you manage to sort of keep tempo. I mean, I know I tend to look at the feet, but I don't know what uh, how, how you do it. Well, it's a good question because it's, it's always challenging mm. to try and figure out what the tempo is going to be, even when you've been doing it for years and years and years and years. Mm. And um, I think sometimes you get a hint from the dancers because, for example, when we do um, shooting, they go walking around with their sticks and swishing their sticks. And I always look at Bryony because I know that she likes, she knows the time mm -hmm. and that, you know, and I, I start and try and get the rhythm of the music mm. to her walking mm. and then you think oh you're on the right lines with yes. that one but it's not always easy no, um, with others no, it isn't. Uh, no, that's right well i have to look at your feet <laughs> your feet and then well, i look I'm at the not dancing <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you're very good at keeping yeah, keeping the, time yeah the tapping foot steady, is very useful proper isn't steady it? Yeah. 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 and that's what we need um, mm. and it's yeah that's why i was thinking about percussion and and stuff because at the moment we don't have we don't have a a, a, a regular percussion person or instrument even. So I, I sometimes found as well outside if you get seven or eight musicians because we never quite know how many people are going to show up and, or what type of instruments we're going to have even half the time. <laughs> um, but when you get people standing, eight, seven or eight people standing in a line, the person at one end can't hear what the person at the other end is doing. Um, so having a drum would be, or a very, form of percussion, very would, be, would be very, very useful. Yes, because yeah. it's killed us once or twice, it isn't has. it? The linear yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, it has. Yeah. 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 And you yeah. can't hear. No, no. 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 It's nobody's um, fault. It no, just it's nobody's fault. It doesn't, no. it doesn't yeah. work sometimes. Mm. So. But it is quite nice, the fact that you don't quite know who's going to show up. I think that's quite, <laughs> I think that's quite interesting, isn't it, when you get all these various... Well, the whole thing's a bit random, yeah. really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> don't know which dances they want to do, and, or if uh, if somebody decides they've got a particular song they want to sing, they spring it on us and expect us to play yeah, Well, that's it. They that's have a certain fun. expectation, think that we're experts <laughs> in everything musical. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as we were finding just now with the uh, Nutting Girl, yeah, it's yeah. because it's one we don't know very well. It's actually very difficult to watch the dancers and look at the music yeah. as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, uh, yes. Until you've learned it. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm sure we get there with that. But I mean, it is a big help once you've learned 
once you've learnt the tunes, it's a big help because mm -hmm. you, you can watch and it doesn't matter if your music blows away in the wind because that's mm -hmm. quite often mm -hmm. happened, doesn't it? There's never ideal conditions really. Either it's too hot and you've got the sun in your eyes or, you know, it's freezing cold and you can't find your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, a few problems, I suppose. But, the, you know, I think also that the what you forget as a musician is that is that the dancers have their own challenges as well of course and that they'll be finding it too hot so but particularly yes. they get really really hot in the summer don't yes, they yes and then in the winter they're just nicely warm up yes. on their dancing yes. so yeah. and also the surface as well yeah the surface. Surface. Yes, they get a bad surface yeah. it must yeah. be quite tricky for them as well yes. and they expect us to be able to yes. read their minds and work out exactly how fast or slow <laughs> they can dance yeah. Which is good. Uh, yeah. Uh, right, well, do you want to just finish with um, playing a, a quick yeah. tune? That would be quite nice to, uh, to finish. Shall we do Black Joe? What's it start on? D. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I like the hood too, didn't it? I did, didn't it? Ten minutes.